All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to make a barbecue pork pita and give you a few reasons why I'm using pita instead of traditional hamburger bun. So in here is my two pound pork shoulder. I slow roasted it for about six hours in this crock pot with apple cider vinegar, liquid smoke, garlic powder, onion powder, brown sugar, and salt. And I'll put the recipe down below, but you can see it's nice and tender now, so I'll just shred it up and set it aside until we're ready to make the actual sandwich. Okay, in my opinion, every barbecue pork sandwich needs a creamy slaw on top of it. So I have this bag of tri-color coleslaw. It's just uh, the cabbage, carrots and purple cabbage, just in a bag. I'm just gonna add it to this container. Okay, so that was actually half the bag. Okay, mayonnaise, I'm gonna do three. One, two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar. That's my preferred vinegar. This is sugar. I'm gonna go about a tablespoon. About half tablespoon of salt. And then for my slaws, I, I actually like adding herbs to it. Preferably, I would add cilantro. I don't have cilantro though. I'm gonna try it with basil. Never tried it with basil before, but I think it'll be good. All right, and then we'll, we'll mix this in. I'll probably mix it with my hands eventually. Okay, so I'm getting ready to build the sandwich. In here, I have the slow cooked pork that I made. When I make a barbecue pork sandwich, I like to just have cold pork ready to go and then I actually heat it up in the pan to really get it crisp because it kind of fries on its own fat. So then I just add a few chunks to the pan. This is on medium. And I can feel some of these pieces are pretty fatty. I can just kind of pull a serving size. As it starts getting crisp, then I'll add the barbecue sauce and then we'll be ready to make the sandwich. The pork has crisped up nicely. Uh, this is what I really like to see in a pork sandwich is the meat actually has some texture to it. It's not like a super soft bite, it actually has some texture to the pork. That's what I like to see. So my pita is warming up on this pan. And for the barbecue sauce, I'll lower the heat. and. You can definitely make your own barbecue sauce if you're a person that does that, but for barbecue sauces, I actually like to buy local. Uh, I like to support local businesses when I can, and barbecue sauce is one way to do that. There's actually a few options in my not-so-big city uh, for local barbecue sauces made in my actual city, and some of them are really good. This one is spicy, sweet, and smoky, so I just kind of take it off the heat and then add a little bit and then mix it around and that will start to caramelize in the pan as well which is really nice it smells great I'm gonna add it to our warm pita and then our slaw which has a little bit of basil salt sugar vinegar now see on like a hamburger bun this would be really really messy but it's a little less messy this way There it is, the barbecue pork pita. So the good thing about using the pita is it kind of contains some of the mess. There's no leaking out of the pork or slaw from the sides, just the back. And really I can kind of cut my hand up if I want it to really clog the back. So then I actually have like no real leakage or drippage. I'm having some now, but that's because I wasn't covering the back at first. And if you don't have bread on hand, but you have pitas, this is definitely a way you can do it. All right, I'm going in for a bite. All right, yeah, it's super tasty, super balanced. The pork's great with the smoky, sweet, spicy barbecue sauce, and then the slaw provides creaminess and a little bit of crunch. I might put a little bit more slaw on this, but we'll see as I finish the rest. All right, thank you guys for watching.